Mbona hamtosheki? Listen to this lady you called in Jana. We have two groups of women. We have very hardworking women who are very serious. And you have another group of lazy women. Yeah. Who just need to get married because of money. So let those women not lie to you. I am very hardworking. Yeah. I am married myself. Yeah. And I will never allow a second wife. Single ladies who are very serious, they have a lot of money and they can work for themselves. So those women who are calling there and saying about uh, being second wives, they are lazy women you are having nowadays of the boots and the matitis only. How long yeah? have you been married? I have been married for almost 18 years now. Wow. Number one, guys, you've got a woman who's the hardest worker even you know. Why can't you tosheka? Why must there be another wife? And number two, ladies, I need to address this other woman today. Why are you going after someone else's man? Akisha Safishwa, Amengara. He's made it. We can't you take yours? El Safisha yours? And build with yours? Because these waves have been around for ages. These wives have sweated blood and tears. Do you ever put yourself in their shoes? That's the question they just want to ask this morning. Was there some married ladies yesterday who told me, Maina, why do they come after our men? Unless your ass is being described by this lady. We have two groups of women. We have very hardworking women who are very serious. And you have another group of lazy women. Yeah. We just need to get married because of money. So let those women not lie to you. I am very hardworking. Yeah. I am married myself. Yeah. And I will never allow a second wife. Single ladies who are very serious, they have a lot of money and they can work for themselves. So those women who are calling there and saying about uh, being second wives, they are lazy women you are having nowadays of the boots and the matitis only. How long yeah. have you been married? I have been married for almost 18 years now. If you're the other woman, you're lazy. You're a lazy woman who wants to reap where she did not sow. That's the allegation. Are you a lazy gold digger? For all intents and purposes. Why don't you give me a call on 0711 My short code is 22494. If you want to contribute via SMS, I'd love to hear from you. Or why don't you send me a message on Twitter at It's My Neck Again, you are Classic 105. Kenya, my hashtag is My Neck King. And my fan page on Facebook is also open for business. The other woman has been described as a lazy woman who's just after money. Why can't she go and look for her own man and grow with him and suffice him? Angare. So even her, she can be proud. Why are you going after the ready-made article if you're not a lazy gold digger? Men. We have two groups of women. We have very hardworking women who are very serious. And you have another group of lazy women yeah. who just need to get married because of money. So let those women not lie to you. I am very hardworking. Yeah. I am married myself. Yeah. And I will never allow a second wife. Single ladies who are very serious, they have a lot of money and they can work for themselves. So those women who are calling there and saying about uh, being second wives, they are lazy women you are having nowadays of the boots and the matitis only. How long yeah. have you been married? I have been married for almost 18 years now. I met a couple of lady, married ladies yesterday who were saying, Minor, why can't they go for their own men? These are lazy women who are just gold diggers. That's what you are described as. If you are going out with a married man. Nambono na ume hawatosheki, that is my question. Monique Kims, good morning. You said my advice to me this morning, stop using shortcuts. Get your own man and start from somewhere. Don't go breaking people's marriages or running after rich men. Kanga Justin Kanga is saying in commerce we'd say we are doing risk diversification through acquisition of multiple assets. What's important again is giving the next woman a chance to smile in marriage. The ratio is not favorable to them. 
<laughs> Poker Stamford. He said, like a very wise man once told you, not every woman was created smart and hardworking. Some were wired to destroy other ladies' marriages, but I bet sins can be be uh, sense can be beaten into them. Liu Jinga. Arthur Manmel, you see, the first wife is okay with the second catch, then there's no problem. Anyway, women are not lazy. They are looking for a provider. Sharon Shannon is saying, everything I do to myself, I think I must emulate from my parents. And that's kind, the kind of life I'd want to live. Their hard work is bringing us all up. Is what I admire most. My dad is the most awesome man I've ever interacted with. Well, there seems to be a disconnect. And yesterday, some ladies described these girls as a lazy gold diggers. What's the truth? Only Yes. The way a man is created, he can be able to love even 10 women and give give all of them equal love. Hold on. Are you a wife or are you the other woman? <laughs> what I know from experience, a man can love even 10 women and love them equally. I'd give them everything, totally everything. But a woman can never love two people. If she loves one, the other she will be just keeping them. So you should be asking men why they do it. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Okay, thank you. Thank you. All right. Hello. Hello, Maina. Morning. Morning to you. Yes. I'm married. Yeah. Yes. Now. For how many years? Two years now. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, let me tell you, Maina, we as women, we are the ones who have made this husband looking good for that second lady to come and say that. The ones to meet me. You see? Yeah. Yeah, so I'd rather crush her face than see her coming to meet me. You'd rather crush her face? Yes, I'd rather crush her face. The babu, I wouldn't stand her. What is she coming to even tell me? What does she even understand about struggling? And then uh, they lie to me that me me to her to eat on my empire, something that I have made. Yeah, so those second women, uh, uh, they, they are very foolish in fact. They are very? They are very foolish because they are, are not thinking. They love them not like you, but they want to meet the first wife. Thank you, my name. Thank you. Day. Okay, wow, hello. Uh, good morning, Mr. Maina. Morning. How are you? Eh. Hey. Do you want to say this? Is come on, Aume. Uh-huh. Where are you? Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, you want to go to So you need to see it to check it. Wow, when you want to go to Kujia, and I see it now, I'm going to go to Kujia, and I'm going to go to Kujia. Kwanini? I'm going to go to Kujia, my name. So, Kitu Kikijileta, Lazmo Ikule, Iyo Chakula. Let me tell you one thing. Eh. I'm going to go to these ladies. Eh. Akida, the moment I'm going to go to Kujia, eh. And I'm going to produce. Eh. Ni sasa yeye yeye sasa wewe unafaa umuonyeshe mimi ni mwanaume. I'm a real man. Eh. Uh -huh. Yes. <laughs> so I really can yeah. uh, I, okay thank uh, you. Uh, 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 uh me I yeah, disagree yeah, with you. Si ati sisi tunapenda, si ati tutosheki. Ni hao wanajileta. Wao ndio wanajileta. <laughs> And so ukipata chakula ikija kwa meza lazima uigonge Mr. Maina. Thank you. What is wrong with men? Is it that you cannot control yourselves? What kind of an excuse is that? Seriously, what kind of an excuse is that? At Imejileta, I didn't go for her. She came for me. So, have you ever heard of self-restraint? You had that man who called that man who called in earlier. At the sea, is it no endanga kwa ondia wana to seduce? You don't need to come wana ate ya. <laughs> Please go to your messages, Mina. There is that social part of life that a man will fall for, uh, for marriage being spoiled by thinking that women are the ones to be treated nicely. Anciently, a man was like gold, and any woman who gets one should treat that man with respect. This nonsense of women wanting men to see them as angels has ruined everything. Marrying many women is not about another lady coming to the man, but the man looking for what the first lady lacks. It's not even wrong biblically, it's not condemned. Oh, wow. 
shots fired right there. But this other woman has invested so much in time, in effort, sometimes even her own resources to build up that man. Doesn't she have a right to feel, hold on, this is my territory and mine alone? Hello? We have two groups of women. We have very hardworking women who are very serious. And we have another group of lazy women yeah. who just need to get married because of money. So let those women not lie to you. I am very hardworking. Yeah. I am married myself. Yeah. And I will never allow a second wife. Single ladies who are very serious, they have a lot of money and they can work for themselves. So those women who are calling there and saying about uh, being second wife, they are lazy women you are having nowadays of the boots and the matitis only. How long have yeah. you been married? I have been married for almost 18 years now. Doesn't she have a right to say this is my territory and mine alone? Monique Kim's just saying as a man, you've got to be principled. You cannot say women are coming to you, so you've got no choice. I also don't get that excuse by the way, Monique. So Eli Boy is saying behind every successful man there's a woman. If you want more success, have many women. <laughs> Aki the wicked and men think. Zipi mwikali you saying, Sasa ngoja uskia waki ingiza Bible hapo. Aki imagine they will. You know Kenyan men. Hello? Yes, good morning. How are you, my name? I'm fine. This is Paul, eh? Yeah. I would like to contribute to the discussion. Karibu. You know what, my name? Mm. Like, for me, I'm married. Eh. And my wife is working in a bank. Mm. But let me tell you this, my wife doesn't have time for me, you know? What do you mean she doesn't have time for you? In the morning, mm. I'm in the Hello? Yes. Uh, she's tired. Yeah. Me as a man, what do I do? Can you answer me that question? Before you talk here, what do I do as a man? Anarudi home sangapi? Yeah. Anarudi nyumbani sangapi? Eight to nine there. What so, do I do? She's so, tired. She needs time to prepare for tomorrow. What do I do? And I also need my rights. Yeah? M let me ask you a question. Go ahead. Must you get your conjugal rights every day? You know, it is, it is my right. I married her for that. When I tell her not to go to work, she starts yapping, yapping, talking a lot of nonsense. So I have to go for another mpango kando. So yeah. you, so let me, you married your wife for sex only? Not really, but you know, even the Bible allows that. So I don't know why you are telling women, whoa, whoa, whoa. No, let me tell you this. Women, who are, the reason why we go for other mpango candles or other women is because our own ladies are working hard. Yes, we appreciate that. But unfortunately, they forget their roles in the house. You understand? Wanaona wao ni wao. So they have their money, they can do anything. You cannot tell them anything. Now we get the point. I'm listening to you. Yes. So, uh, you know, you before you even judge us, can you understand? Why is it that men are doing this? You know, my wife is working. Yes, she has got a good job. She's earning. But now, she doesn't give me my attention. You know, I need my attention as a man. Yeah? What do I do? Where I go and look for attention from outside. You get it? Okay. Yes. Thank That's you. Why. All right. Ladies, they're trying to explain themselves. Are you 